tips on how to photograph documents. I think this is from Mario, right? Do you have any tips on taking better photos of documents? I have a Galaxy S22, and I take lots of pictures of documents, but almost always the font is a bit blurry. Now, I do a lot of documents, too, oh. because anybody who says... I need your receipt for the, uh, you know, for the expense report, or we sent you a contract and you need right. to sign it and send it to us, all this sort of stuff. So the first thing I always do is in the editing, I up the exposure all the way because basically I get a blob of text and a black piece of paper. And then when I move that dial up, it looks a lot better. Anybody out there, um, have that same situation, I'd love, love to hear from you. Another question we have was about, and it's very similar, it's about scanning photos. And so it was, Jeff, uh, I need to scan a bunch of photos, and I wanted to download a scanning app, which is the best app, there's so many of them. Well, the best app is from Google, and it's called the Google Photo Scan app. It works really well, it takes four pictures, of your photo and it blends them together and it eliminates the glare. Let me show you. This is a photo that I took cool. uh, this morning to show you what it would look like just normally with the glare in there. And this is with Google Scan. Which one do we prefer, folks? Wow. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Uh, so who are those so people? Anyway, do you know who they are? Are they yeah. family members? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would okay. be my bro brother-in-law and niece and nephew. Uh, Dwight says that he That's a really great tick trip. Yeah. It's so a great he, tip I was going to say because I will often try to take pictures of a picture. So, yeah. He, uh, uh, Dwight uses an app called Scannable. Let's uh, push him over there for that. He uses Scannable. And I haven't tried it, but I will say that anytime I go to a family member's house and they've got the wall of photos, and if I don't have them in the collection, I'll just run over and start taking pictures. And it's, it's served me well. This yeah. Google Photos app is great. Now, I will say that if I was really serious about scanning the family collection, I would have them scanned on a scanner. And there's a company called ScanMyPhotos.com, which I'm a fan of. Uh, they will let you uh, stuff a box with as many photos as you can in there, up to 1,800. It's not cheap. They'll, it, you'll spend about $200 to scan all the photos in your collection, but they will be higher resolution than you're going to do on your smartphone. Mm -hmm. You could also do piecemeal, and I think it's 13 cents a scan, but you have to add postage, and you're going to want to get a flash drive, which they'll also sell to you. When it's all said and done, you're about $70. If I could go back to the picture of your brother-in-law and the yes. glare versus the not glare, yes. I have the Google Pixel, the Google uh, pic Pictures app on my phone. Google Photos is what I have. Oh. Mm -hmm. But w what was the app that took the glare away, and how do you do that? Is there a setting inside that app that makes that yeah, happen, or okay. can you explain the process yes. and where and what the app is called? It's called Google Photo Scan. What okay. they have you do is they have you take four pictures. Uh -huh of that picture and there's four buttons on there mm -hmm. and you push it that way, push it that way, push it that way, push it that way. Uh, okay, Roy. Okay. Thank you, Roy. It's called photo scan by That's Google. Cool. Okay. Photo scan by Google. And okay. uh, on my phone, it just says photo scan, but it's photo scan by Google Four pictures okay. and it blends them together and the glare goes away. And I'm glad I was able to show you a pretty radical uh, yeah. uh, addition of that. That was great. Yeah. Is that Get a free app? And it's a free, free app. Service? It's a free app. But, you know, okay. I, I don't know about you, but, you know, at some point in my life, I had to scan everything because I have so many photos. You must have shoeboxes of them. Yeah. And if you're dealing with shoeboxes, it's going to be a pain. If you do 10 of these, you're just like, I don't want to do anymore. And that's when you want to start setting them out. 